it's such a beautiful morning it's cool not cold just cool blue skies eh, it's always blue skies I get excited when I see clouds let's see let's get in here and see what's happened well it's 57 degrees this morning last day of November the 30th no no worse for wear tomatoes are still looking pretty don't have to water for the third day fourth day in a row that's exciting I see a little naked lady belladonna oh lettuce is looking good of my little green onions that other pot of green onions they died it got so hot it burnt them up the older ones are still there but the little ones that I've started gone look at these tomatoes Oh, leeks I did put out some more banana peels because I started getting aphids back but this is a green onion or not a green onion this was a brown onion so it's divided out into three and the one I started back there didn't make it oh no it has a little green showing on it look at that something went through how did a birdie get in there? Oh, they're smart little critters. And there's the catnip. Strawberries are all looking very well. There's the one blossom. I don't want to spin you because you're attached. Like this one's attached. Basil? No. Swiss chard. Mint and coleus. Coleus are doing well. Nice if they made it through the winter. Let's see. How is my leaf crops coming? Doesn't look like anything's dug underneath yet. Oh, I've got two different things coming up. I thought I put kohlrabi over here, but those do not look like kohlrabi seeds. Those look like the kohlrabi. It doesn't matter. If anything makes it, I'll just transplant them anyway. Beets just are not happy. What beet? Something's got up here and ate some, as usual. All of that dragon fruit. Now that the sun has moved south, that is not protecting it. So they're getting sunburnt. I need to cut this all back even with the pipe anyway. The volunteer fig tree. Horrible figs. Watsonia. I don't see any buds. And this is freesia. Now these these beets look like they may have made it a little better. There's that miserable little Brussels sprout. And I put in clover seeds. That's not clover. That fish farmer Joe gave me and he's disappeared. He's no longer on YouTube. There's a coleus, which I think I'm going to lose this year. It gave me four years. There's my volunteer peach tree. That one's got to have a new home once it goes dormant. There was some garlic in there. There's one that I didn't get pulled last year.
or this this year they never came up I do not see any caterpillars It's finally done blooming, if that's what you call one pink petal. But the mulberry fig, she's doing okay. It should lose its leaves, because both mulberry and fig go dormant. Oxalis, chickens love this stuff. So it's coming up. One snow pea, two snow peas. I didn't get them at the right time. Coleus, these are the ones that I trimmed back after they bloomed. <sighs> Smells good, even with a cold. I just deadheaded them and they came back and bloomed again. So I'll know not to rip out the plants when they're done blooming. Because they're really not done blooming. A little excited. Looks like I might have some artichokes. All the other stuff I planted down there doesn't look like any of it made it. Another coleus. Lemon balm. Tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes are coming up from the bottom. They're down low enough that I can hang sheets over them. Oh, look at that. It's warm enough during the day that they're blooming. Now just if they'll set. I'm going to plant some more seeds here in the next couple of days. I'm going to plant some more snow peas in the next couple of days. Ah, celery could be transplanted. Oxalis for the chickens. Oh, look at the size of the Brussels sprouts. Oh, they're getting so big. And there is signs of them coming out on the branches. <coughs> Shut up. Branches that came out of the top. No, I don't want fever few. Enough with the fever few. You'll be coming up every place else. And Oxalis. Give that to the chickens. Oh, bye bye, fever few. I missed one. I'll get it later. Head doesn't like being down that far. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. I really appreciate you stopping by and putting up with my night. Putting up with my rooster. Thank you for... Thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just poke me in the head. That would make me very happy. Bye for now. My neighborhood is so entertaining. It's about one o'clock in the morning. <laughs>